Hi everybody, it's Sam here and today I'm launching my Shutter Card collection. So this is a style that's been around before, some of you might be familiar with it, but it was something that I was requested to bring out as a collection. So this is how the card looks. So you have a belly band that wraps around the front and you can decorate this, embellish it as you wish. The theme around this collection is sweets and treats. So you have your sweets and then you have your baked goods, really fun stamps and you'll see those in a moment. On the front you've got an embossing folder, you don't have to, you could have the pattern paper which I will also be showing you and then as you open up the sides it will reveal your chosen message. So it could be a written message, it could be a stamped image or one of the sentiments that I also have in the new stamp sets. And you can close it all up, you could write something on the back if you would prefer and then it all folds up nicely into its belly band and you can either pop that then into an envelope or you can give it like this. So I'm going to flip the camera around now and show you the whole collection. So this is my new shutter card collection. Now there is also a six by six die set, but unfortunately there's an issue with the sizing of two of the dies. So we have replacements being sent. So we've just pulled that back and it's going to go on to pre-order until those come in and then we can just swap out the dies that are wrong. So for now, I'm going to show you the five by seven and everything else that comes in the collection. It's really fun, really colourful. I've loved putting these ones together. So we'll start off with the main die. So this is the 5x7 shutter card die. Now you can make this as a single or a double aperture and I'll show you that in the samples in a moment. So you can see all the dies there. There's also step-by-step -step instructions but on the back here I've just popped all of mine onto my magnetic sheet that I like to keep my dies on and you can see all of the dies there. The larger circles are more for your belly band so this is a belly band die here. The smaller ones are to create your aperture and to have a decorative frame. With that you also then have the additions set which is this one here. So this is the baked goods edition set and you'll see it says here that it coordinates with the 5x7. So with with this one here, you can create these decorative frames. Again, I'll show you those in a moment. You also have a cake, you've got a fork, and you've got all these different elements here in circles, which will create lollipops and different size apertures with the frames. You've also got some bunting there and you've got some different biscuits. You've got a candle, some really little fun elements there that you can add to your cards. We've also kept the 6x6 editions because it's a lovely set on its own. So if you like to create your own cards with apertures, you like to just have different shaped circles, then this is a really nice set. So although it is meant to go with the 6x6 because the width of these apertures here fit perfectly within the 6x6 section that we have for it, they do work on their own still nicely and you've got little lollipops here. You can see the lovely frames that you have. You've got a different bunting, little bows that go on the lollipops and then you've got different designs for the lollipops. You see there's like a pizza, you've got the swirls. It's not a pizza, but <laughs> that's how I describe it. And you've got another swirl there and then you've got all these little sweets and there's your circles obviously for your different aperture sizes. And again, you'll see on the back there, it shows that it coordinates with the 6x6. But like I said, it does work on its own, so we've kept it in. You then have the dies, which will go with both sets of the stamps. So the stamps you can buy separately, because I know a lot of people have their digital cutting machines, or they just like to fussy cut them, so I do like to fussy cut, but you do have the dies in this set that will coordinate with both of the stamp sets. So you can see them all on there. And then these are the stamp sets. So I'll take them out. Mine have already been used because I made all my samples for Hachanda. But if I just hold it up there, you can see you've got oh, you've got some lovely sentiments. All you need is love and donuts. And then you have your donut here. It's your birthday. Eat the cakes. You've got different cakes here. Celebrate with cake. Calories don't count. Happy cake day and birthday wishes. You've got biscuits. You've got the little pretzel there. Gingerbread man. Different biscuits here. Little cupcake really really sweet love that set and then this is the sweets set so that's your baked goods this is your sweets so here you have one of the hearts and then you have these different sentiments that you can stamp inside the heart you then have your different sweets they're really fun to color love these ones you've got a little cake pop here color that any way you like you've got different lollies here that's like a marshmallow with some chocolate melted on the top of it you've got candy cane You've got a little strawberry there. You've got another candy cane style. You've got your hard boiled sweets there as well. And you've got some little kind of gummy bears as well. You've got have a sweet birthday. You're so sweet. Keep calm and eat the sweets. Happy birthday and home sweet home. So you can really make some lovely cards with that set. 
Then I've also done two embossing folders. I love these. I've really enjoyed creating with these embossing folders. And when I show you the samples and when you see my tutorials, I think you'll really enjoy these ones. You've got a five by seven and a six by six. Six by six has all of those lollies and the kind of hard boiled sweets and things like that from the sweets stamp set. And then on the five by seven, you've just got these lovely words all related to your sweets. You've got donuts, lollipop, sugar, cake, icing, treat, frosting, biscuits, dessert, jam, chocolate, um, jelly bean, icing. I've probably missed some, but there's loads on there. Yummy, really, really fun. And that's going to work with lots of different cards as well. So if you're someone that just likes to stamp and you like embossing folders, then you've got that option here. And then there's the paper pad. Again, this is probably my favourite paper pad that I've done to date. So this one is the shutter card paper pad you get it's eight by eight you get four each of six designs and it's 180 gsm and it's actually a great way to make 3d projects so i'm going to be sharing some photos of some of the samples because unfortunately i haven't got all my samples back from when i launched on the craft store so i have a few samples here with me but i'm going to pop in some photos of the other ones because i did make a little gift bag a little gift pouch and a, another little kind of gift uh, bag as well using the papers just to show you that you can make them into 3d you know projects so you can see kind of an overview of the patterns that you get but you've got that lovely donut pattern which i just yeah i love that one you've got this one here with these little swirls the lollipop one is brilliant that uh, that's the one i used to make one of the gift bags you've got this lovely pattern here jelly bean one is another favorite of mine I really like that one and then because I've already been using this you will also have another one but I'm going to go ahead I'm just going to flip through to the repeat and it's this one here the sprinkles really love that one and it's actually surprisingly easy to match up the papers to these really well because there's so much color in the sheets and that works great with white so you know if you don't have many colored papers but you've got white it will work well with that but you've got the bright pinks and yellows they're quite easy to match this one here works great with white, but you've also got your blues and the pinks. Again, easy. And yellow is an easy one to generally match up with. This one here looks really striking against white, along with this one. But again, you've got quite a few different colours there because you've got the different shades where they overlap. And then this one will just go with pretty much any coloured paper that you have. So you've got a lot to choose from there. And again, the sprinkles I found works really well against the white and it pulls out the white parts there but again the yellow and the turquoise is it is it's surprisingly easy to match these colors up so that's everything in the collection what i'm going to do now is pop in some photos of the samples i've made so you can have a little look at them and then i'm just going to show you some that i've got with me now Okay, so what I always like to do is I cut and colour lots of the stamped images and the die cuts. You can see I've got all kinds of bits and pieces here. I've kept all of the sweets together and all of the baked goods together. I've gone very bright and vibrant. That's kind of my style, but I just thought it worked well with this release. But I do plan to colour these, I guess, in a more realistic way. And you'll see that in future tutorials. But some of the dies here, you've got the biscuits. I've just put glossy accents on them just so you can see kind of how they work. And you've got some biscuits here. And then this is the bunting. And the bunting actually cuts out so you can paper piece different colours into these, which I really like. You can also see the fork there. 
and I kept all the negative pieces because these are what you can paper piece back in and they've also come a lot of them from the frames so it just means that you can add lots of colour and you can really kind of you know make them your own I'll just pop all those in there so here is well I've actually done two so I've already filmed a tutorial for this one but these are my little donut boxes and I think they've turned out so <laughs> so well I just love them I've embossed the tissue paper here with the embossing folders so you can just see some of the wording and then it just says on the front here on some heat resist acetate all you need is love and donuts and you'll see them all there and i put glossy accents on the tops of them all and then it's just a top folding five by seven card which i've stuck together a little bit there but you can see inside and then i've done it again in the pink but isn't that lovely really do like it i think it's just come together so well so i've done that one so it just shows you how they look when they're colored I've used alcohol markers actually to colour these ones in. And then this is the 5x7 shutter die. So this is the belly band. This is actually using the addition set. So you can see that different circle shape that you get there. And I'll just put happy cake day. Calories don't count. And I'll pop the donut in the middle. You can see the embossing folder again on the front there. And then this one, when you open it up, you have all you need is love and donuts. And you've got the three donuts there that I've coloured. And that lovely donut pattern paper. Pop another matte layer on the back there, which is the same size matte layer as this one. You've got the dies for that and you'll be able to then write your message on there. Otherwise, you may want to have your message revealed when the shutters kind of open. You could, you know, certainly write inside there if you want. This one here, I have blended my own background. Again, use the embossing folder and you can see the cake here with the candle. And I've used the fork there as well and I've added some sparkle some glossy accents to the flame and I've just drawn a tiny little black line there just makes it a little bit more realistic and then this one here I've not put the belly band on I've just literally stuck it on one side and then when you open it up you've got your double so this one says it's your birthday eat the cake and you can see the cake there that I've stamped and again that all closes up and then I've got this one here where I've stamped onto the embossing folder using the red ink and then when you pass it through it will transfer into the area obviously where you applied the ink but it will resist against all of the wording because that's obviously set back in the embossing folder just gives it a really nice effect and you can see the top of there where I've built it up I put glossy accents on everything that I think would shine I think they look really nice again you can slide the belly band off and then with this one when you open it it says have a sweet birthday and then the belly band just goes back on there so that is my new shutter card collection. I hope you like the samples that I've shared and the pictures that I popped up. I will also be sharing tutorials, how to make these. This one's already been filmed, so that one will be coming up soon. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.